family uh, 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 hi family so hi family welcome back to my youtube channel i hope you are well so in today's video i'm going to explain why i cut my hair why and when i cut my hair so um hey guys i must learn how to edit because now i would be inserting pictures you know and all of that but I think I'll ask my husband to edit and maybe I'll insert pictures of how my hair looked just after I cut it and um, the growth afterwards. So the reason why I cut my hair, I had relaxed long hair. My hair was beautiful guys. Okay, it, my hair is still beautiful I think. So um, I cut my hair on the 2nd of January 2019. And the reason why I cut my hair is because when I was doing CTA for the first time around, I I had said to myself, if I pass this thing, I'm gonna cut my hair like new beginning. Because wow, I went through the most. But um, obviously, I didn't pass, so I didn't cut my hair. And I was also dealing with the fact that I didn't pass and everything else. So I forgot about that and yeah so with cutting my hair as well i felt like growing up um i was kind of influenced to think that my hair defines me and my hair is what makes me a lady and i don't believe that i believe you are who you are based on what you let people believe right so what you put out there that's who you are like how you represent yourself as a brand and as a person that's who you are but your appearance your hair and everything else does not define the person that you are so um came second january oh and another disclaimer my husband was attached to my hair like he really liked my hair like he really like loved my hair um so i remember i went to his place to cut my hair because he was the one who cut my hair and um yeah he just cut everything off and initially i, I thought i'm just gonna have like a like cut off the damaged parts and just have a an afro then grow it from there because i also did want to go natural i had relaxed hair like i said and i felt like now the relaxer was also damaging my scalp because i had um dry scalp and dandruff issues so yeah i felt like it was time so i can better take care of my hair and just by the way hey no, i cannot take care of my hair that's why i even tried testing it myself because i you know i stuck at this person and with an afro like every time you stretch it or comb it it's like you leave a trail in jail of your hair and i'm not about that cleaning life of hair like i guys know so um yeah my husband cut my hair um i was left with literally nothing <laughs> but yeah and the one thing I'm grateful for, like seeing your hair grow is so magical, hey? It's, it's, I, I cannot explain it, but it's so magical, like seeing your hair grow and like your hair change, like the actual texture of your hair. Um, so with the texture of my hair, I have, like my hair is very dry, but I have um, curly hair, like naturally. I think everyone, like every upper is curly, like, coils you know, curls but i think my curls are looser if it makes sense and my hair is very soft like sometimes when i plait my hair like ooh, if a proper person no, 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 that i'm not a proper person but a proper hairstylist does my hair let's say i do like your benny and bettini it will look like i've relaxed my hair but i i haven't so I really have soft hair but it's very dry so yeah I don't know what hair type that is um what else what other story do I want to say lies I want to tell you guys about my hair I'm kidding it's not nice um yeah so my hair is growing I think 
uh, on one of the videos I had just left it out as like my natural afro so I've been growing my hair for 14 months now and yeah it's, it's been a great journey I, I really enjoy it and guys don't let anyone make you feel bad for wearing your hair out the way you want to wear it out because I've had encounters with colleagues where let's say it's my afro dog like oh like that hair how am I to do something like like maybe cornrows and put on a wig or whatever and there's nothing wrong with the wig but if you choose to wear your hair out that's what you should do and be proud of it and yeah embrace your hair it's a part of you you know so yeah that's my story about hair um so i don't know what else people would like to know about my hair i, I can i'm not um a hair enthusiast where i know all these things the tanglers and what what i i just wing it most of the time i watch youtube videos and wing it but um i have made a promise to myself because i still have dry stuff and all of that that after the lockdown i will actually go to a natural hair salon like a salon that strictly deals with natural hair to see how they can help me and all of that and just love me more love my hair love everything else about me and embrace me because if i don't do it for myself no one will and even if you have people that would give you the world and love you unless that also comes from within nothing's gonna happen you know so it has to come from within so yeah anyway guys may grace love peace be unto you bye Mwah.